Hey Corbin, why does the ocean roar? Because your mom's in it. No, you'd roar too if you had crabs all over your bottom. Hi, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Yeah, yeah, it's hi. I'm Corbin. I'm Red. Off on Instagram, on Twitter, for more to say content. It's and if so you like that juicy. kind of thing, I did not have sex relations <laughs> with that woman. <laughs> oh, wait, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was Bill Clinton for those of you guessing at home. I feel your pain. I felt her. Pain. Oh, don't you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um,. Ring bell in front of the Renegade Squad. Let's see more juicy content at the beginning of this video. Today we're reacting to an interesting video. Oh, good. It's a comparison between the American office and, and the, the English Indian. office. Indian. There's an Indian office? Really? Apparently it's not very good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but yes, did they have like half a season? I don't know. I think it got canceled. I believe so. But like... I think they almost basically tried to do the exact stuff. So it was an like Indian impersonation almost trying to be Michael Scott. Okay. Which I yeah. haven't seen it, but I can tell you does not work. Because Steve Carell was not trying to be um, Ricky Gervais's... Not at all. Uh, what was his name? The Ricky Gervais character? Anyways, uh, Ricky Gervais, because they, they were playing essentially the same guy. Right, but as it, far as their role in, in the office, but they're very different. Oh, 100%. It's just, so it, if you, it really comes from both of their personalities. If you try to, and The Office is, I think, the funniest show of all time. Um, can't argue with that. Uh, but the, uh, if you try to do an impersonation, it's, right, it's, it's like, going to be pretty bad. If they're like they're trying to be John Krasinski and they're trying to be Steve Carell, yeah, I'm interested. I just want to. <laughs> I'm very interested in this. Here we go. I had no idea there was an Indian version of The Office. Did they do it like frame for okay. frame? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was talking to. He had a very low voice. Probably a smoker. So that's the way it's done. <laughs> I've uh, I've been at Dunder Mifflin for twelve years. Yeah. As he did. With this job, I'm going to date for ten years. His company is just waiting for as regional manager. When I come through here, which they did some shop for tons from. British to the Americans. As I now meet up to my suit means very dream position. Branch manager, you know, I am If I can tell you. See, we have the entire floor. This is my kingdom, as far as I can say. This is our receptionist, Pam. Pam! Pam! Pam Beasley. Pam has been with us forever. Right, Pam? Well, uh, if you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple of years ago. Right. <laughs> what? Uh, any messages? Um, yeah, yeah, just a fact. Oh. Like we're messaging on you. And this is for corporate. How many times have I told you that there's a special filing cabinet in the Asian corporate? Give me one. All the way. Look at that. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Oh, look at that face. People say I am the best boss. Good one. They go, God. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Gazam Kakarish. Some kids say, I'm the best boss. Say, you are my boy. I've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. I can tell you why it's not working. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're going to go. Just go. I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, yeah. Very, there's one key thing that's absolutely absent from the Indian version. <laughs> <laughs> My job is to speak to clients. 
Uh, on the phone with the guy. Uh, I'm just talking about this. Chandra sir ka manna hai ki koi bhi joke agar funny hai to usse baar baar dohrao jitna jisoge alright see you later alright all right it's such a brilliant okay. show. Thank you. Work. Oh, I was I was hoping I was for hoping more. for each of the characters. Me too. Maybe maybe I could find it some other time. But okay, so there's actually it wasn't all as bad as I thought it would be. No, like I I could see that Dwight working. That gym actually looks really really good. And it's not that's just part of it for it's me. It's not just the copying, actually. That's that's because the American one, almost the first season, is pretty similar most of the episodes to what to, happened in the British one. There's, it? there's some variances, but uh, they because it's all region based. And you also know when you're watching the sh when you watch The Office, after you've watched all of the episodes, when you go back and you watch it, you can see everybody's still yeah. finding the characters a little bit. They're yeah. not fully <laughs> grounded in the characters yet, but. Here, 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 I don't know who that actor is. I don't know if he's a, a well-known actor and a really good actor, but the reason that Michael does not work is because he is playing the joke. It, exactly. It's the, and here's the problem. It's the same words. So he's using the same script, which means the intentionality of the writing is exactly the same. And what makes Michael Scott Michael Scott is that Michael Scott doesn't know yeah. that what he's doing is funny. Yeah. The things he thinks are funny are from his own sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And most of the time when he's saying things like he's the best boss, he really believes he's the best boss. Yes. But he's not sure of it. Yes. It's that double thing with him of, I, I, I really am, you know, because I, I am the best boss. And he's like trying to convince himself as he's saying it. Whereas with the other character, it just seemed like he was this kind of like, he was trying to be goofy. weird and zany and goofy. And that that's zany, goofy guy. Yeah, it, that doesn't work for that character. Because no. you need to, you need, it needs to be, he needs to seem real. It's Michael Scott. What Steve Carell did with Michael Scott yeah. is one of the greatest creations in television history. Because he took a character that could be easily just turned into some silly buffoon that you just don't like. And he made him a truly complex character that at first when you watch the office i i didn't like michael scott at first i mm -hmm. thought this guy's a jerk and then i wound up loving the guy yeah. and seeing him the way pam sees him mm -hmm. you know because she gets annoyed by him and thinks he's disgusting like most people do and then discovers a lot of what he does is from his own insecurities and his hurts when he was a kid and mm -hmm. it's just a brilliant but brilliant yeah character. the reason that that character works is because he's not playing what he's doing as a joke Exactly. That other guy, that's what it's seen. Like I said, I don't know if his other work, he's a really, really good actor and it, it, that might work, but he was, and it was obvious, he was playing the joke. He's a like, hey, Pam? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Funny? Right. Yeah, no, that's not, it, it, that will make the show bomb. It was, yeah, because the show is Michael Scott. Yeah. Uh, you can't, he's the backbone of that show. The reason it's so funny is because you're laughing at how awkward it is not how funny michael scott is you're laughing oh. at the awkward situations he exactly. puts himself in that's why the show is so great and how insulting he is and doesn't realize how insulting he actually is oh and i have heard from lots and lots of indians that this show was terrible the indian like the indian version, version of the office, of the office yeah. did not do well uh, <laughs> but i'm sure that ricky gervais was just like all right give me money you can have <laughs> They didn't do word for word script reproductions of episodes, did they? In the American office versus the British one? Yeah. It was it was word for word? Well, most not not word for word, but okay. there there's 
It, you tell it was, premise. It, you could tell it was the same episode. Same episode premise. Yeah, yeah, because if you do word for word, I don't imagine how you could because Ricky Gervais. I haven't seen the episodes, yeah. but I know of his character that he's like Ricky Gervais. Yeah, his his, his character is. Well, he, his character made an appearance in the Office once. Right, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. So uh, anyway, David Bren, Brenner. David Brenner. I think that's his name. I, I think that's Ricky Gervais's character, character name. David Brenner, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so... <laughs> Unfortunate. I would have actually loved to have seen... The, I would watch a whole I, episode. I want to see... What do they do for Kelly? Yeah. Uh, everybody. I'd love to see what they did for everybody. Kelly, if you haven't seen The Office, one, go watch go The watch it. Office. It's amazing. She's the Indian, and she's kind of dumb. And she's like a, uh, a girly girl, and she only cares about hooking up with her, her boyfriend. Yeah, making sure she's got a love interest. She's and... really dumb. So I'm wondering what they do with that character in, in the Indian version. Yeah. I wonder what Toby is like. I yeah, I was just more... thinking that. Toby, I want to know everybody. I want to know Creed. Yeah. yeah. Creed's a weirdo. He's like my favorite <laughs> that's, character. That's Alexis's favorite character, I Creed. I love Creed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, I could talk about The Office all day long. That is my favorite. You know what I'm thinking about right now? When Michael goes around everybody and roasts everybody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Kevin, you're fat. That's Boom. it. Yeah. Roasted. Roasted. <sighs> Oscar, you're gay. Boom. Ro Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go watch The Office if you've never seen The Office. It's like the funniest show. Uh, um, and sorry about the Indian version. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>